iRock Radio, the world headquarters of Rocket, is Mike Caroli with my special guest, Mike Mushak. How are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing well. So there's a lot going on yeah. in the life and times of Mike Mushak. <laughs> I mean, let's start with Saint Sonia. Sure. So it's been a little bit since the last album came out and the yeah. last tour and all that stuff. What has been going on since the last tour to today? I... We, Adam became a father, so I mean that's kind of you know a, a reason. It's time for consuming. Us. Yeah. Well, and plus, you know, you never get those years back ever again. So if you can be around and be a part of that, it's you know, and have the ability to do that, it's it's great. So, um, but we also we obviously been writing. We're in the studio now. Um, actually, everything's recorded. Uh, I go back uh, next week to finish up like overdubs and solos. Um, Adam's done a bunch of the singing already, so. Uh, we should be wrapping that up in the next, oh, I don't know, six, eight weeks, I'd imagine. So when you're doing a Saint Sonia record, is it different than doing a Stained record as far as the process? Because I, I think with Stained, you would write the music, right. give it to Aaron to do the lyrics. Right. Is that the same with... It is, and it's kind of the same also where Aaron would always have, you know, songs as well, and Adam has songs, you know what I mean? So it is, it's actually, it's, it's fairly similar, you know. So you're at what point? So you... Pretty much everything's recorded. You're doing yeah. some overdubs or whatever. Yeah, we wrote a bunch of songs, uh, demoed everything out this time to where they're basically finished versions of songs. You know, weeded that down to, I think, 12 or 13. Um, probably weeded out again to whatever, you know, another 10, to get 10 songs, I'd imagine. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but everything's, you know, tracked and drums are done, bass are done, rhythm guitars, you know, main vocals. So. Yeah, so what would up. the timeline be going forward then as far as when do you anticipate the, the music being released? And then I would imagine you'd want to tour. Yeah, no, sure. Uh, I would imagine uh, music would probably be released, you know, uh, late summer, early fall, I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. Now, are the touring plans set or is that something that will... No, I think that's kind of, we're trying to figure that out as well. I, I think we want to get everything pretty much done, but I mean, there's been talks of, you know, of shows, but nothing's been confirmed yet. All right. So while all of that is going on, we get news that Stained will be getting back together to do uh, Louder Than Life Festival yeah. in Kentucky and Aftershock Festival as yeah. well. That's pretty exciting. And it congratulations. I mean, from a band being from our area, yeah. close to the world headquarters of Rock, <laughs> it's exciting for us. I mean, we, we've known each other since... Forever. Yeah, yeah, since Dysfunction came out 20 Before years ago. That, yeah. And congratulations on that as well. Thank uh, you, yeah. 20 years of Dysfunction. April 13th was the 20-year anniversary of that coming out. Man, it's, uh, it's almost hard to believe. It's really hard to believe. I'm really old. <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> well, you know, it's funny. I, when I saw that it was the 20th anniversary, I started thinking back on some of that. And I do remember the, the first time I met you guys, the record guy called up and said, I've got this band out of Springfield I want you to meet. And I'm like, all right, that's cool. But, you know, at that point I was already like, I'd rather be home. Yeah, no, watching yeah sure. TV, course, you know? right. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm like, they're, they're very important to us. Band called Stained. I'm like, all right, but if I'm going, I want to go to a place that I really enjoy uh, for dinner. Not one of your sushi places or whatever. We went to a great pizza place in we Hartford, did. Connecticut. Yeah. And uh, it was you, Aaron, and I think... Uh, Johnny April, probably. Yeah. Uh, and we, that was the first time we met. Went back to the station, did an interview with Jay Raven. Yep. Um, and the rest is history. But that was 20 years ago. So much has happened in the last two decades. That was, I was, that was, that was even before that. But yeah, it was. Yeah. That was, because that's before Dysfunction came out. It was, yeah. Man. It wasn't even out yet. Hard to believe. Yeah. But congratulations. Thank you. And, and thanks so for being a part of that for all these years. Well, it was an exciting ride. I mean, not only with Dysfunction, then, of, of course, with outside coming out, um, bridging the gap to break the cycle, and then break the cycle being so huge and just on and on and on. It's, uh, it's been fun for me to be a part of it, even in a small way. So cool. that's pretty cool. So let's talk about Stained. So you're doing Aftershock and, and Louder Than Life. Mm -hmm. How does that come about? Because Stained has been inactive sure. for a while now, aside from the charity show, the, the Aaron Lewis and Friends right. show a couple years yeah. ago. It's fun. So how does it come about that you all get together and agree to do this show? Uh, I mean, listen, Aaron and I have been talking for years about, you know, when is, it, when is the time right to, you know, play. And, you know, so it was really just trying to, to put that together and make it work. Um, you know, uh, Danny Wimmer, who, you know, 
owns all those festivals, is a, is a really good friend. You know, and Danny's actually been, I mean, <laughs> I'd get a call like the last day, he's like, I need to make an announcement. Stan want to play this show? You know what I mean? I'm like, <laughs> I go, dude, it's not. I mean, we haven't, you know, we had things going on. So, you know, Danny actually played a big part in, in really helping, I think, you know, get that together with just, you know, he was our, when Stained first started working with Fred Durst in Jacksonville, mm -hmm. Danny used to run a club down there uh, called the Milk Bar. And I remember we played a New Year's Eve gig there opening for Limp Biscuit. And that was the first time I met Danny. I want to say that was in 98. And uh, no, it must have been 97, right before 98, right. turning to 98. Yep. And, uh, you know, I've known Danny forever. And he was our A&R guy at Atlantic Records for, for a minute. Mm -hmm. um, then he went on to, you know, do Danny Wimmer Presents. So, I mean, we've had a long history, you know, with him. Right. And, uh, you know, he, he really wanted the band to play again, too. And I think he helped, you know, get everybody you know, to the point where it's like, okay, let's do this, mm -hmm. you know. Did the 20th anniversary of Dysfunction play into it at all? Um, listen, I mean, I'd been put, I mean, I knew that was coming up, so I'd kind of been pushing Aaron for <laughs> for a while, saying, dude, it's going to be 20 years, you know what I mean? It'd be nice to just, you know, do something. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I think there was, there was a lot of things that kind of came into play to just, you know, finally get it to the point where, you know, okay, let's book something, Right. you know. So you have uh, these these festivals that you're doing. Um, what will it take with Aaron? He's got a new Record, album that yeah, just, just dropped. Last week, yeah. um, what will it take for Stained to be ready to do those festivals? I mean, rehearsal. Like, how are you going to coordinate Re all these schedules? Rehearsal. Well, somebody's got to. <laughs> really? <laughs> somebody's got to do something. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, that'll that'll be it. We'll get into our rehearsal spot and uh, you know figure out what we're gonna what we're gonna play and just practice mm -hmm. the concept, right? Yeah. <laughs> How will you figure out the set list after having been apart for a while? Like, I mean, is it gonna? Are you gonna want to play stuff maybe you hadn't played before? Or? Well, I mean, for me, it's like you know, if you these festivals, you have an hour to play. That's true. And it's people that don't always, you know what I mean. So, I don't know. I mean, listen, I'm I'm sure there'll be some of those songs that we want to play, but obviously, there's songs that we feel that we probably, after not you know touring and playing for a long time, will you know, mm -hmm. we'll have to play. So after this, now it's a couple of shows, a few shows, whatever it may be. Um, what's next? I mean, I know it's, it's difficult to kind of no, even sure. present that to you because it has been a, a handful of years. Yeah. And now this is happening. And I, and I don't want to like say, well, you know, now that we got this, let's have more. I'm happy for this, but it, I am curious. No, sure. Of course. And, you know, I mean, as I am, I mean, I think that. You know, for me, in a perfect world, it'd be great to be able to, you know, go out and do a handful of stain shows. Um, it'd be great to, you know, we don't have a label. It'd be great to write some music. You know, I mean, it doesn't have to be a full record at this point because there's no, we don't have that obligation. Right. You know, we have a studio. I mean, it's, you know, it'd be easy to do. So, I mean, I think right now it's let's let's get in, to get the room together, let's play together again, let's do a couple of shows, and you know, see how it goes, and mm -hmm. you know, kind of take it from there. Why is it always important for a band to have new music to go out and do a tour, let's say? Not the festivals necessarily, but if you were going to do a full-on tour, many bands say, well, we need new music to be able to do that. Um, why is that important to a band? Um, I mean, for me, it's just about, I mean, I'm a musician. I love writing music and creating music. I get excited about that. It gets me excited. You know, I'm um, always very proud of what, you know, Aaron and I did together and, you um, I really enjoy, he's super talented. I really enjoy, you know, bringing my ideas to him and seeing what they become, you know, at the end. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, the, the idea of being able to do that again, um, you know, I would, I would love for that to be able to happen, you mm -hmm. know. Um, but as far as, I don't know. I mean, I think, you know, we're in a position right now with these festivals that we can go do them without with really, you know, necessarily having new music, right. you know, which is, which is nice. Um, but I think you want to, you know, have something out there, you know, for the fans too, mm -hmm. you know? I mean, it's great that they can come see a show, but I think they'd like to see, you know, the progression of, you know, where you're, where you're going musically as well. As you're writing songs for St. Sonia, do you have different songs that you have in mind for Stained, or are you just creating music as it goes? I just write music, yeah. you know what I mean? And it's, uh, it's really just, for me, it's like cat, just sitting down playing, 
coming up with ideas and kind of cataloging and saving them and and you know really e even in writing with Adam um, uh, a lot of it is I'll just play him ideas and it's what what does he get excited about you know what I mean it was kind of the same thing with Aaron what gets you excited so for me I'll just kind of you know catalog these ideas and when it comes time you know whatever I think is good or I'm I'm you know gets me excited I play for them mm -hmm. and kind of see what you know gets them excited and you take it from there well I'm happy there's a lot going on and yeah. I, I'm excited to hear the new music from we're all excited <laughs> it's a very exciting time yeah, <laughs> well, yeah. Santa Sonia so the new music hopefully by the end of summer yeah uh, yeah maybe a little bit later but yeah somewhere okay. around there I'd imagine Fall, yeah you know? <laughs> yeah and then a tour to follow and then Stain doing a couple of uh, festivals I mean the, the anniversary of Break the Cycle will be not yeah, too that's far right, behind. Right, either. exactly. <laughs> that was back when we used to do, you know, record tour for 18 months, record tour for, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and, and listen, I mean, I think that that's the, the other thing that's nice about, you know, the thing is, you know, I've been home for a while. And kids, it's just been great to be able to be here and be a part of the family and what they do. Because, like, you know, as I mentioned with Adam, my kids are never going to be this age again either. You know sure. what I mean? And right. so I just... Uh, I'm really enjoying the opportunity to be able to be here and be a part of that. And uh, I mean, in a couple of years, you're not going to want to be around me. You know, <laughs> I kind of don't now. But. It happens around 15 or yeah, 16 yeah, years old. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so no more 18 month tours for you? No, can't do it. I just, uh, I mean, you have to, you have to weigh out, you know, the priorities and uh, I, I'd never, you know, you, you'll never get that time back in. I've been fortunate even, my kids are 12 now, so, you know, even being able to space that out, and they don't, they don't remember the time, I, you know, when I was away that much. I and mean, Santa Sonia did tour for a while on the last record, but even then we had some time off in between, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. so. Um, but yeah, just, you know, the, the ability to be able to, you know, go out, play some shows, and then it's just hard, it's just hard being away. Yeah. For me, anyways, it is. I know there's guys that still go out there and do it, and they, they grind it out, and it's, and you know, God bless them, but I, I don't know. Yeah. Well, it's exciting, as we said before. Um, St. Sonia, new music coming out, tour to follow. Stain doing some dates. Who would have thunk, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, congratulations. Thanks, Mike. And thanks for joining us here at the World Headquarters of Rock. Right the here. World <laughs> Headquarters of Rock. Yeah, totally. I Rock Radio.